just want to make it simple. Good afternoon uh, to each and every one of you. Thank you guys for making Little Old Me a part of your big day. Yours truly, Pastor Kevin, on the GMAP Broadcast Network, GMAP1.com, of course. As you can tell, uh, we have one of our featured authors on the GMAP Broadcast Network platform, my friend and my brother, author, Wendell White is here, and let me do. Uh, I'm, I, 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 my, um, my, um, my, my studio audience, Wendell, they, they still practicing COVID, so they, they, they social distancing from me. <laughs> they, they, they're staying their distance, so this is all you get. All right, drum roll, please. That's it. Um, and then my, 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 my studio audience. <sighs> that's it. Please welcome my friend and my brother, author Wendell White, to the fold, man. God bless you, bro. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. How about yourself? Man, if you have to ask me, I must be slipping. You know, <laughs> <laughs> outside of outside of that serious uh, 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 water situation that I was dealing with, man, my arms hurt, man. That was a workout, but I'm good, man. I can't complain. Uh, uh, nevertheless, man, look at the camera, man. Would you look at me? Look at the- <laughs> All right, man. Do me a favor, man, if you don't mind. Introduce yourself, man. Tell us who you are. Tell us where you're from. Man, good afternoon, man. I'm um my name is Arthur Motivational Speaker Wendell White. I'm from um Chicago, Illinois, but I now reside in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And um man, I'm just out here doing a good thing for the Lord right now, man. He changed my life in so many different ways and so many um man, I got so many testimonies and right now, man, I'm just out here trying to help 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 the world i'm trying to help the world man we right now the world is in a we are in a we are in a in a, in a rough place yeah. and and i believe a lot of it goes on the, on the on the shoulders of um the ones that proclaim jesus christ as their lord and savior because we're not out here doing what we're supposed to be doing um to save these souls man so man god god equipped me with a testimony and who knew um all the things that i was gonna go up that i grew up going through i was gonna have to endure the things that's going on right now so who who is best to go out into these communities right now and reach these guys a, a guy like me that i've been through the drugs the gangs the, the the shootings and you know no mom no dad and who who the best guy for it for the job so man i surrendered i put my hands up to god and said man come on i'm willing to do your will let's do it man you know what i always tell people when they're man you better be, you better be careful what you ask for um, and 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 I'm just going to say, Paul said in the Bible, "I became all things to all men that I may win some." The gang bangers who converted over uh, to uh, Christianity, the gang bangers who accepted Jesus as their personal savior, you became so you can be used to win some. The dope fiend, the drug addict, the alcoholic, the dope dealer, the gang banger. You are a part of that fold. Absolutely. You're part Absolutely. of that fold, Wendell. You know, yeah. Paul said the best. I became all things to all men that I may win some. So as long as you accept that challenge and doing what you've been called to do, then you are doing exactly what you're supposed to do. Hey man, that's, that's all I want to do, man. I just want to do my part. I ain't trying to do no more, no less. I just want to do my part. And then, man, we gonna see we we gonna see what God do, and I know He 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 gonna do everything. So after I do my part, after I plant the seed, the water the seed, I just gonna let God get an increase, and I ain't gonna I ain't gonna worry about nothing else. Man, sit back and let God do what God does. Come on, man, stop it. You know, I, well, you know, coming from Chi Town, going to Milwaukee, you know, that 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 gives me a huge segue. Check it out, check it out. Coming from Chi Town, you got to go to Milwaukee, and in order to get to Milwaukee, you got to come through Waukegan. Mm-hmm. You ain't got no choice. No choice. You know, you can go through Gurney, but that's Waukegan. You know, you can hit 294, Waukegan. <laughs> you can hit 41, Waukegan. <laughs> uh-huh. Absolutely. But Absolutely. you know what? Back in chi the devil thought he had me. So I know you can say the devil thought he had me. You know, it's serious up in chi And with that female man now, man, it seemed like everything then increased. You know, people say, well, I'm going to uh, put this person in office. I ain't got no beef with that young lady. She's free to do whatever she wants to do, be with whoever she want to be with. I ain't got nothing to do with her personal affairs. But her as the mayor does not change anything. You know, uh, uh, you, you, you got to look at reality, man. The devil uh, thought he had me, man. Tell us a little bit about it, if you don't mind. Well, it's just... It- 
Well, the devil thought he had me, man. I, I wrote that book. Um, I finished writing it like um, last, like last June, right after my cousin was murdered in May of 2020. I finished writing it. It was a three-year project. And it just and it just and it just tells about my life growing up in Chicago from coming from foster care to you know me selling drugs, joining the gang, uh ultimately me being me being shot twice, kidnapped, put in the trunk of a car, beat with best and left for dead for drugs and money, you know. But um the the the, the, the my story is so unique because um it takes you to a place, it takes you to a place all over the world was going on in our communities right now. What was going on with our youth right now in the world? Just no, no upbringing, no, no mother, no father, no, no, no guidance, no, no guidance at all. And by the grace of God, like we use, we use that term. So I'm going to say so, so freely, man, by the grace of God, by the grace of God. But do we really understand the grace of God? And that in my in my book really portrays like it shows the grace of God. It really shows the grace of God that was owed on my life because I know guys that they got put in the trunk of a car and we went to their front. You know what I mean? So for me to get put in the trunk of a car and the things that was done to me before I got put in the trunk of a car, man, it wasn't no, it wasn't nothing but a God that was on my side that kept me alive while I'm still alive right now to tell my story. So now I owe it to God. You know, just like when I used to sell drugs, I used to owe to connect a hundred thousand, fifty thousand. Now I owe it to God. I owe it to God to um, go out and tell my story and be the best at telling my story, so I can save as many lives, like I said, save as many souls as I possibly can for Him. Because I'm always gonna be in debt to Him. I, I, he paid the ultimate sacrifice for us, yeah, so I'm always gonna be indebted to Him. My and, goodness. And, and and now I just go out and try to just. Do my part. Like I said, I just go do my part and try to, um, man, save these souls, man. Save these kids out here. There's so many of these kids dying every single day, man. We look on the news. We we ride down the street. We see so many of these kids dying. But they don't even, uh, the, the society don't even really understand why these kids dying. They think it's because of the guns. Man, the guns don't got nothing to do with it. Guns has nothing to do with why these, the gun is what killed them. But it has nothing to do with why they're dying. They already dead. It's just the guns just 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 detach their soul from their body, but they would they 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 we we walking around here the living dead. You get what I'm saying? Man, don't you stop preaching, man! I'm gonna open the doors of the <laughs> church. <laughs> no, man, you're exactly right, man. I am in total agreement with you, man. And of course, uh, everybody has a calling. Absolutely, everybody. And and what we fail to understand is, you know, we. We all want to, oh my goodness, man. See, I'm almost, I, I can't get started with you in there because, see, I'm almost there. <laughs> I, 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 I'm almost there, man. So, so I always tell people, everybody has a calling. And, and, and I was asked one, one, uh, one time, he said, well, 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 Kevin, how do you know you've been called? I say, because you'll begin to be the call. You don't have to wait to get validated. You don't have to wait to somebody put their hands on you. You don't have to wait to somebody uh, uh, ordain or officially uh, publicly announce that you've been called. God validated that thing when he called. You know, stop waiting on man. Okay, let me move right along, man, because I'm getting fired <laughs> up over it. <laughs> you know, so again, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know, uh, now you know. Uh, my friend and my brother, author Wendell White, of course, he is here with us on today, one of our featured authors on the GMAP Broadcast Network, gmap1.com. Stop by and, of course, make it simple. Click on the tab that says Featured Authors uh, Bookstore. It will take you to uh, the author's page, and, of course, you'll be able to see uh, The Devil Thought He Had Me, the book cover that I am now currently showing you on our uh, platform television screen. You can see it. Click on that book cover. All you got to do is simply just uh, click it. It'll take you to the necessary location to find out more information about the author as well as the publication. A great, great, great book to have on your bookshelf. A great book to share, read. And this is volume two. So listen, we want to make sure that you do that. The devil thought he had me, man. And I know there's going to be some people out there, Wendell, that they're going to want to uh, show their support. They're going to want to get a copy. They're going to want to uh, 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 download. What's the process for them to receive a copy of your current publication? If you don't mind sharing. Well, um, you can you can you can purchase the book off Amazon or, or Kindle. 
um, or you could go to my website at uh, info at wendellwhitespeaks.com and purchase the book that way. Um, and then, man, we just, we just, we just gonna, we just gonna do it big, man. I'm just, I'm excited. I'm excited for whether, if, if, like I tell people all the time, if you don't buy, if you don't read the book, you will see the movie. You will catch that later. You know what I'm saying? But you will, you will see the movie if you don't read the book because, man, I just know, man, I, I know what God about to do for me. And, and the thing, oh. it ain't about, it ain't about money. It ain't about none of that. It's just about saving these souls. Like I care more about saving souls than I care about money. I done had money. I done had hundreds of thousands of dollars. And guess what? I was at my I was at my lowest point when I had all that money. But now it's just about man. It's about reaching these souls, man. It's about yeah, reaching. Yeah. It's about reaching these yeah. men. It's about reaching these youth. And man, helping, helping, just helping, doing all I could do to help. You know. And of course, uh, we want to make sure that people don't forget about little old GMAP Broadcast Network down here in the lower left hand corner. Everything in small print. Uh, if you want to reach out and uh, purchase the book, and of course, you need to understand that GMAP. Uh, I'm sorry. The small print is most of the time the most important print on the paper. So we don't mind accepting that challenge. And, of course, man, if I don't get me a starring role uh, in the movie somewhere, <laughs> man, I'm deleting everything about you. I'm <laughs> if, everything must go. If you, man, if I don't have, you know what, at least come to the, when, when, when you go to the church, man, let me be one of the assistant pastors. Just sitting up in the pulpit, something, you know, and then and then just do a quick shot on me, man. Just let the camera go over there. So 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 when it go by so quickly, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna be like, okay, honey, wait for it, wait for it. What? See it? Did you see it? Yeah. <laughs> I got you, bro. I got you, man. We gonna, we, gonna put, we gonna put you down, man. Man, we put me put down, you. man. You know what? I, I I ain't never I ain't never thought about being an actor, but I know I can I can be. Man. As a matter of fact, I've been acting all my life. Well, the whole thing about it, the, the, the Bible tells us, man, we can do all things through Christ Jesus that strengthens us, right? Hey, so that means we can do everything. Man, make me, a, make me a one line of preacher. Man, we can do anything. You know? so it, ain't, it, it, ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, see, the, all we got to do is learn how to, all we got to do is learn how to decrease and let God increase. Come on, man, see, stop, when it, we do that, stop it, stop it, stop man, it. Man, we going to be smooth. We'll be smooth once we learn how to do that, but we got to learn how to do that. You all know, right, y'all. A lot of us don't know how to humble ourselves to say, you know what? I want to take the back. I want to take the back seat. I'm willing to take the back seat because sometimes you got to be the best second that you could be. You can't always be number one, but if you just be number two, be the best number two that you could be. I just became a one line of preacher. <laughs> Man, how you think you gonna act? I can do all things. I can do all things, and I can stop right there. Yeah. You know, you know the the Bible says. You know, <laughs> if my people who are called by my name mm -hmm. should humble themselves and pray, I'm done. I can preach on that. Yeah. I'm a, you know, when, when Wendell has made me a one line of preacher here on the GMAP broadcast network, we thank God for his presence. Of course, don't forget, uh, run out, show your love, care, concern, and support. We're going to be inviting you back, man, because we're going to want to know. We're going to want to break down. We're going to want to hear what's going on with the fellow that he had me. Uh, before I let you go, Wendell, I need you to. Just do me a favor, man. Just briefly go ahead and share how people can reach out and connect with you. Man, you can go on my Instagram page at um, Wendell W underscore 24, or you can go on my Facebook page at Arthur Wendell White, or like I said, you can go on my website at info, um, info at WendellWhitespeaks.com. And now, uh, man, if y'all got any um, men, any youth, man, I got a mentoring program. That I'm running, man. That, that that is great, man. Just trying to help these, um, help our men and help our youth navigate themselves through life. I'm not trying to run your life. I'm just trying to help you get around and navigate through life. Like I said, you don't have to walk through the puddle. Let me teach you how to go around it. So, man, if I if I if I could change the way you think, I promise you, I could change the way you live. We appreciate you being here today, man. Uh, anything we can do, we want you to know that you can always pick up the phone, give us a call. The answer will always be yes. And you'll never have to ask us twice. We're going to be appreciate inviting you back, man. We love you, bro. We appreciate you. You're a homeboy. And that can't, you can't do nothing about that. Chicago, Milwaukee, you can't run. It's all fun. You, 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 we all in the same neighborhood. I, I told you when I first met you, man. I can't wrong you, man. You too close. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and of course, uh, we appreciate you, man. Keep encouraging, man. Motivating and inspiring others, man. Do what you do, man. Be blessed to continue 
to be a blessing as we continue to show our love, care, concern, and support for you. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Wendell White, one of the featured authors on the GMAP Broadcast Network. Until next time, peace. God bless you. Take care. Take it easy. If it's good to you, take it twice. Remember this. If you don't remember anything else in life, keep God first in your life. You cannot and or will not ever, ever go wrong. God loves you and so do I. Believe in your heart. Confess with your mouth that he died on the cross for our sins. He rose again on the third day, descended up into the heavens, and now he is currently hanging out on the right hand of God, preparing a place for you, for me, and everybody else that's willing to accept him and go. Be blessed, Wendell. We'll talk to you later, man, okay? All right, bro. Thanks for having me. All right.